So welcome back. In this next video, we're going to look at permutations, which is another way of uh, arranging items. So yeah, first I'm just going to say permutations is sort of just a fancy way for arranging, and it just means arranging when there are restrictions, okay? So when you have restrictions, such as space restrictions or, or so on. We'll see that in the example. So again, we have the seven Harry Potter books from our last example, from our factorial example, um, but you only have space for three on your shelf this time. So that's your restriction. Um, whereas the factorials there are no restrictions and the question is how many different arrangements can you put on the shelf so the first way you could go about it would be to start trying to count all the different arrangements manually so you could have the first second third you could have the seven sixth fifth you could have I don't know the sixth seventh fifth etc and the important thing here is that those are both different because you're arranging things in this case so even though they're the same number of books um, they're both different in this case because we're arranging. So you could count all of those, but it'd take a while. So the quicker way is to use the permutations button on the calculator. So it is, it looks like N, P, or like that, where P stands for per permutations, and N is, we'll say, the total number, and OR is, um, you could say amount of space or amount available um, whichever one of those is more suited to the question so yeah and I'll just say quickly that on a Casio it's above the div the multiply button I'm quite certain yeah it's above the multiply button and then on sharp calculators it is above the number six button okay and the way to get it is you have to press either the shift or second function button uh, and like I said it looks like NP or there so it'll be in the kind of orange writing above them and um, so anyway for this example here say we stuck it into the calculator so we have uh, in this case n the total number of books would be equal to seven and or the amount of space available is equal to three because there's only space on the shelf for three we have seven books in total so we would say 7P3, we would put that into our calculator and we would find out that the answer is 210 different um, arrangements are possible. So that is the sort of restriction you're gonna get and those are, I guess, the answers. And you can see that there's a lot, the number is a lot smaller than the 5,040 when you have space for all seven books and that is gonna happen with permutations. It's gonna be less different arrangements you can have. So that's basically all there is to arrangements. They're, they're simple enough. It's just if you have, um, yeah, if you have a total number that's bigger than the amount of space available, you have to use the NPR button on your calculator to calculate the different permutations. So we'll leave it at that for now. In the next video, we're gonna look at combinations, um, which are a little bit different. So this time we're not gonna be arranging, and we'll see how they differ, I guess.